Shoulder instability is a pretty common issue that we deal with in the office. Usually it starts with a traumatic shoulder dislocation that needs to be put back in either by yourself or uh, from an emergency room doctor. Uh, the way to think about this is the shoulder is a ball and socket joint, but it's a really shallow socket and inherently doesn't have a lot of stability. I like to think of this as a golf ball sitting on a golf tee. The labrum is a rubber washer that basically deepens the socket and acts as an O-ring going around uh, the, the glenoid or the socket. When your shoulder dislocates, the ball moves out either the front or out the back and usually results in a tear in that labrum that acts as the bumper to give you stability. The problem with shoulder instability is usually after the first time the shoulder dislocates, you're left with persistent instability because that bumper isn't the way it was prior to the dislocation. There's multiple ways to treat this, first involving conservative measures like physical therapy, activity modification, but ultimately it might be a good option to move forward with surgical management. What that consists of is going in with an arthroscope or a small camera, fixing the labrum back to the bone and restoring that bumper. We can talk about more on, on your particular case in detail, but that's the overview behind shoulder instability.